Thank you for watching this video. To best support the channel, please take a moment and click the subscribe button. Also, the links to purchase this fly and the materials to tie the fly are in the description. Today we're tying up a shop favorite, the Hot Butt Squirrel Nymph. We're gonna tie it up in a caddis green. Go ahead and start with a size 16 hook. It's a jig hook with a three millimeter slotted tungsten bead. We're gonna go ahead and throw some fluorescent orange six sot uh, Semperfly classic wax thread to help lock that bead into place, trim off our tag. And then we're gonna go ahead and wrap that back towards the curve of the hook. And when we get back to the curve of the hook, we're just gonna build a little bump at the back end there. Bring your thread forward and grab your whip finish tool and just throw in a quick whip, fin a quick whip finish. And trim off your thread. From here, we're gonna switch over to some pale olive thread from Semperfly. We're just gonna tie that in, trim off our tag end, and move our thread towards the back of the hook. From here, we're gonna go ahead and grab a single strand of speckled silver. It's a silver and black colored flashaboo. And you grab a single strand of that and tie that in so that you have uh, some flashaboo for your rig for your uh, ribbing on this fly. Now we'll go ahead and grab some caddis green UV tracer squirrel dub from Nature Spirit. And we're gonna go ahead and get that dubbed onto the hook. Or excuse me, dubbed onto the thread. And we'll work our way forward with that dubbing once we get a small dubbing noodle built up. And you wanna make sure to leave that fluorescent orange butt exposed so that you can have that hot spot butt. And wrap it forward. You may need to use a second small noodle. You don't want to build too much bulk with this fly because you want it to get down quick and easy. So not making too much bulk in the profile on this fly. And go ahead and wrap that forward. Building up a slight taper. It doesn't have to be too much or too exaggerated. One more small little pinch of dubbing will finish this one off. And then from here, go ahead and counter wrap your uh, tinsel forward, your flashaboo forward. I like making three wraps go over the top and then have one end right on the top of the fly for your final tie-in point. So basically four wraps around the, the hook. Catch that with some crossing wraps and then trim off the excess. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and throw in a quick whip finish to get our thread off this fly. Trim off the excess thread, your tag end. Now for kicks and giggles, knock your camera around so that it moves everything out of focus. Critical part of tying this fly, let me tell you. Now we're back in focus. Let's go ahead and grab some UV resin. Put a dot of that on top of the fly. Get that to sit in nice and tight. Grab your UV light, tear that up. You can see that hot butt just flashing off nice and bright with that. And now you've got a completed fly. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please pick up the materials or the fly in the shop.